news just in. We're interrupting this autumn's videos to talk about Christmas. <laughs> Hello kindred spirits and welcome back. In today's video we are talking about all the things that you can do in October, yes, in October, to get ready for Christmas. If this is not your bag, if this is not something that you're interested in, if you're not interested in trying to reduce your stress, trying to um, stretch your pennies further, trying to make sure that you get everything done in time for Christmas, then please skip ahead. You can go and watch some of my previous autumn videos or you can stay tuned and watching on the channel for the next autumn video coming up soon. But right now, we're gonna talk about what you can do to get yourself organized for Christmas so that you are not a hot mess come this year's Christmas and it doesn't creep up on you and you wonder where on earth you're gonna find the time, the resources, the money, or even the motivation to get things organized for Christmas. The first thing you can do to get organized for Christmas is get booking. Websites already have dates for Santa's grottos, for pantomimes, for Christmas um, lighting up light shows like the ones at Kew Gardens that do outdoor lighting events. You can get those booked ASAP so that you can get the dates that you want. While we're talking about booking, if you are spending Christmas abroad or with family in other parts of the country, start getting your flights booked, start getting your car hired if you need to hire a car, um, get your travel insurance sorted out. And on that subject, if you are traveling abroad this Christmas, if you're going to any of the Christmas markets, is your passport and date. This is your public service announcement. Stop the video right here and go and check that your passport is in date. If it isn't, get that sorted ASAP. While we're talking about dates, check and see when your child's school nativity play is. Check and see when the Christmas fair is. Keep an eye out because your local newspapers and local rags will start displaying dates for your local um, Christmas fairs um, or local Christmassy events. Those are always fun to go to, quite low cost and also a good opportunity to get out and about with the kids um, in the, the colder weather and to make some memories with the family. You may think this is early, but it is definitely not early. Get your presents bought. Get online, get to the shops and start shopping and getting all your Christmas presents in. While we're talking about getting Christmas presents, while you're out and about, get your advent calendars. Um, you know, these are out at the moment. Um, there are some brilliant ones out. Um, but even if you just want a chocolate one, they're out at the moment. Get those and, and put them away for Christmas. When your Christmas presents are delivered or when you bring them home, start wrapping. Wrapping paper is out, guys. Don't leave this to the last minute because it is one of those things that catches up with people every single year. And every single year, people are, are frantically wrapping Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. As you buy the presents, wrap them. Make sure that you get those tags and labels onto your presents good and stuck so that they don't come off and you're wondering what present is for who and you're unwrapping so that you have to rewrap, get those wrapped and put away. You have to store those gifts that you've bought anyway so you may as well get them wrapped and store them and that way there is less stress later. Also, a good idea is to give yourself a deadline for when you want to have all your Christmas gifts bought in by and when you want to have them all wrapped in by. I like to have this done by the end of November so that I know that I have that that part of Christmas all in hand and I don't need to purchase anything else. I don't need to stress that the postman isn't going to be able to deliver what I've purchased in time. While we're talking about presents... Decide if you're going to be making any presents this year. If you are making presents this year, decide what it is you're making and for whom and get those supplies in and, and put some dates in your diary so that you know when you are going to be making those gifts so that you are ready on time. There, I mean, there have been years when I have decided to make gifts for people and a few days before Christmas, I am furiously getting things made or trying to rush to get presents finished. If you are making edible gifts, try and, and, and make gifts that you can actually freeze ahead or make ahead. So say like you're making, I don't know, limoncello as gifts this year. You can make limoncello ahead and it keeps for months. So if you can make your items ahead, if you're making cookies for people as gifts, you can freeze cookie dough and then bake those cookies just before you want to give them, a day before you want to give them, and then you're ready to go. What can you do to get ahead? 
put your thinking cap on and think about how you can make things easier for yourself in the future, be your own future Christmas friend and get ahead. While we're talking about edibles, start having the conversations with family and friends now. I know a lot of people like to get together with family um, at Christmas time and it'll be a case of mum wants to host one year, your sister wants to host another year. Check whose turn it is to host this year and start having those discussions about what you can bring or what somebody else can bring if you are hosting. Um, it is Christmas is a huge expense in terms of food, in terms of gifts and everything else that comes with the season. If your sister is hosting, ask, what can you bring? If if you are hosting, tell your sister, look, I've worked out a menu plan. Can you please bring a pudding? Mum, can you bring a starter? Share the work, share the cost. And I'm sure family and friends, if they are, are sharing Christmas with you, won't mind helping out. It just uh, helps you with the stress and it helps to share the costs as well. Again, now that we're talking about food, Christmas foods are expensive. So here are some tips to help to make that part of Christmas a bit easier. At the moment, they've got the new Christmas magazines out, Christmas um, cooking shows are going to be showing on the telly soon, and your library is full of books on Christmas um, food. If you need inspiration for what you can cook at Christmas or what you're going to have on your Christmas Day menu or, or if you're entertaining and you want some menu items for your entertaining, start making lists now. You will need to know what you're going to be serving on Christmas Eve what you're going to be serving on Christmas Day. Get those details planned now and, and then each week while you're doing your shopping, pop a few items into your trolley. It spreads the cost and come the week before Christmas, you are not f trying to scramble to find products on the shelves that are now sold out. But also come the week before Christmas, you're not faced with a bill that is a lot bigger than you expected because you're going to be paying for Christmas items like a turkey. Um, you know, Christmas meats, um, mince pies, Christmas cake, Christmas pudding, all the extra bits that come with Christmas and making special holiday festive meals. At the moment, there are lots of things that you can pop into your trolley every week. If you do um, Christmas baking, you can pop um, baking supplies into your trolley. Um, some baking blocks or, or extra butter. You can be popping things like flour, sprinkles, um, chocolate chips. At the moment, in my Morrisons, they have turkeys in. They have large gammon roasts at the moment. You can pop that into the freezer. As long as you use it within three months, you're good to go. So if you can spread the cost by getting a few items each week, it really helps to spread the cost of Christmas. Also, consider getting some of your Christmas foods at the cheaper supermarkets. Um, if you are a dedicated and, and an exclusive Sainsbury shopper or an exclusive Tesco shopper or whichever supermarket you prefer, have a look at places like Aldi for your Christmas um, supplies, for your Christmas baking supplies, for your Christmas meats, for your booze, because these places are cheaper. And it all helps when it comes to Christmas because we like to have these festive, fun and special foods in. But equally, it is good to save a few pennies. Are you having guests to stay this Christmas? If you are, check with them what dates they're going to be staying and then assess your spare room. Assess your spare room. Is the duvet looking tired and miserable? Do you have guest towels? Get those things on your, on your list so that you can make sure that you've bought them in and you can make sure that your guest room is up to scratch for when you have guests staying with you this Christmas. You know it's going to happen. At every office and every school, they have a Christmas jumper day to raise money for charity. Look out for Christmas jumpers. You don't have to buy these brand new every year, especially since you're probably only going to wear them a couple of times during the season. Charity shops have some excellent quality Christmas jumpers in good nick that you can purchase for your office Christmas party or for your office Christmas jumper day. Or schools are going to have Christmas jumper day. Keep an eye out. Keep them in mind. Make sure that you've got the sizes that you need jotted down on your phone so that you can get these ahead of time. Start getting an idea of what your elf antics are going to look like this year. If your elf needs a little bit of extra help with their antics, make a list, have a chat with your elf to make sure that you have some fun planned for your elf on the shelf. Not everybody does this, but if you do, then make sure that you have a plan for your Christmas Eve box. 
and you can get these items put on your list now so that when you're out and about you can make sure that you've bought your pajamas the extra pajamas that you need for Christmas um, because of course on Christmas Day you want some nice Christmas photos you don't want the ratty old pajamas and the photos so we always make sure that we get some new pajamas around about this time you can start um, you can also look out for slippers, things like that, that can go inside your Christmas Eve box to make sure that you are on track so that Christmas Eve doesn't come and you're scrambling around the house um, or rushing to the shops looking for Christmas Eve box items. It won't be long and Christmas decorations will be out in stores. I know that some stores already have their Christmas decorations out. If you know that your Christmas decorations are looking tired and miserable and you want to update, start thinking about what items that you need to go with your Christmas decorating this year. If you need a new tree, start doing your research. Perhaps you need some new Christmas tree lights, put that on the list as well. Get yourself a dedicated notebook if you can and start writing all of these things down. Make your Christmas lists and then when you're out shopping, you know exactly what it is that you need to buy. So if you've decided that you want a new Christmas aesthetic this year, start shopping for those items now so that you don't have to do that the weekend that you want to decorate. And last on the list, have a look in your freezer. What foods can be used up to make space in your freezer for things like your Christmas turkey, your Christmas meats, your um, um, for Christmas snacks, things like that. Start having a look in your freezer what can be used up in the coming weeks so that you can start restocking for your Christmas and New Year celebrations. Also, have a look in your home and see if you can make a space somewhere to start keeping all the items that you are purchasing in store towards your Christmas festive um, catering and put those items away. So if you see, for instance, that... Um, Tins of Quality Street are on special. You can buy those ahead and pop them in the cupboard um, in your dedicated spot for all your Christmassy snacks so that the family don't tuck into them before Christmas. Friends, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell and consider subscribing to join the family here at Seasonal Living with Leo. And until next time, friends, keep calm and be cozy.